goes. Like childhood, that does. It's actually like a f spaceship. But what are you saying, fam? I feel like a taxi driver. You're right there, boys. Hey. Oh, there we go. Oh shit, wrong seat. Oh, there we go. Hey guys, how are you guys doing? Welcome back to a brand new car accessory video. Now, if you are new to the channel, you won't know this, but I've done about 20 car accessory videos in the past. For today's video, we've got some spicy car accessories. That's me sprinkling spice onto the like, the, like, the car accessories, I guess. So without further ado, let's quickly go inside and unbox the bad boys. Oh, what the fuck? Over here, guys, we have got all of the car accessories, all of their beautiful car accessories today. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to open some of them. Some of them are already open like this and this, um, but we're going to open all of these and I'm going to show you guys and then we're going to install them onto the car. Ooh. Oh, oh, that actually really hurt. Product number one is from Amazon and we're going to open this bad boy up. What we've got in here is this. What this small tiny thing is, it is called a festoon bulb. I might be Asian, but that is generally what it's called. And basically, what this is, it is the reading light, I believe it's called or something, the interior light, and the glove box lights, the footwell lights, light bulb, basically. And this is cool because it is an ice blue bulb. So instead of having a yellow bulb, we're gonna literally have a blue bulb. It's gonna be bloody crazy. We're gonna be literally climbing to a spaceship by the end of this video with this. Right, the first product, out the way. Right, next product we have is, I believe it's called an OBD2 reader. Again, I'm not a car guy, so uh, yeah. It plugs in basically to your car's computer um, and you can read all the stats like um, RPM. You can read engine warning light um, codes so you can know what's wrong. Um, you can see fuel consum consumption, I believe. Uh, we're gonna try that in today's video. That's quite cool. My bum is hurting. What do they use to package this? Really titanium. Um, got a brush. Honestly, you could put this kind of plastic on tanks and they'd be indestructible. Next thing is this. This is actually a like wire light, I believe it's called. Uh, so you can run it through around your car and then the wire itself will actually light up. Next one, we have a side skirt protector. So obviously once you open the door, there's the side skirt or the like step in bit, the pe painted bit. You can put this there to protect it. Yeah. Yeah. Right, next one. Ah, okay, okay. Sunglass holder. Nice. It's got the 24 karat gold um, plating right there. Nice. Oh, and then this is a car door protector. On a lot of the cars, you'll see loads of scratches in like behind the door handle. So this is actually a door handle like protector. So it goes behind the door handle and then it protects it. And then last but not least is more um, of those bulbs. But these are actually just white ones. And then last but not least is obviously these two. I've already opened this, but this is just a simple car phone holder. Um, I'll show you guys more about that in a bit. And then also what we've got is we've got some air freshener. So you never know if you fit, get your do deodorant, you can spray that on you. So yeah, that is all of the car accessories. Let's go put them on now. Right then, back in the tuk-tuk. And we have got all of the car accessories right here. I'm really excited, mainly for the lights. I think we're gonna start off with one of the most sexy car accessories in today's video, and that is the blue lights. We're gonna make this like a UFO. What I mean by this is this will actually replace the bulb in there. Because my car's um, a tuk-tuk, it don't have lights anywhere else but the boot. <laughs> I think what we'll do is we'll replace them to the white ones and we'll replace the interior light to the blue ones. What we're gonna do first is we're gonna pry open um, this little light shouldn't be too hard just get like a key underneath it and yeah we'll probably work from there because i don't know what i'm doing right now <laughs> so obviously now this is the bulb that we want to replace um i didn't actually show you guys what kind of color it is to be honest but like this is like an old-fashioned disgusting like yellow color I mean, who wants a yellow bulb? And then obviously this is the new the new bulb we're gonna replace it with. Guessing, I'm literally just working from my brain right now, which I don't really have, so I might go wrong. Right, 
So we've unplugged that. That could be a good place to store like drugs and stuff. If you get like some like celebrations, you can put it up there. If you're like in a survival attack or something, you just have some. Woo. Okay, it just comes out. I was really scared I was gonna snap that and like burn my hand right there. So these I think are LED ones and they are halogen ones. Might be wrong. Um, but apparently these are brighter and they're nicer basically. Right, we are zoomed in on my dick right now. Let's ignore that though. So obviously all we need to do is we need to put this end onto that bit and then this end on that bit. Okay, well, that's quite easy actually. Right, so obviously we faced the LEDs downwards. Bro, this is some mad science things. That's what we do and then we should be able to just plug this back in and it should work. Let's quickly plug this back in. I believe it just clips in that there. Let's just leave it hanging for now. It might blow up in our face, but you know. Oi! What you say you? That's that's sick that is. <laughs> So then obviously all we need to do is just push it back in, right? Let me push that back in. We've got a blue light. As you guys can see, it is now dark. I don't know if you guys can actually see me, but we're gonna go see the lights in my car. All right then, if I turn this on, the interior lights should turn on already. Three, two, one. Oh my God, what the f It's actually like a spaceship. No joke, that looks absolutely insane. You know what, obviously it's very dark in here with this blue light. On the outside of the car, it looks insane. Look at it! Literally, from the outside, it looks beautiful. Imagine people walking past your car like this. They think it's a bloody spaceship, look. Next thing I'm gonna go for is just the simple, plain old phone holder. Have you ever seen a phone ho phone holder, right? That extends. Bruv, it extends. Look at this. You girls not satisfied? Extend. Exactly. So my idea with this one is I'm not just gonna put it on the windscreen. I'm actually gonna be putting it in this little window right here. Uh, it's not gonna be like the nice looking. However, I'm gonna try and extend it out to here and my phone is gonna be around here. The reason why I want uh, this phone holder is because when I'm re when I'm uh, driving, I'm driving to my new, so I need the sat-nav on. The, fo the phone holder down here just isn't like very nice because I'm looking up there and then I have to go like this. So obviously I want something that's just kind of in, in my view and hopefully if I put it here, it won't block any of my view there. Um, and what the f*** are these windows even for? What a hobbit to see through. I don't know if you guys can actually see me, but this is really hard to film, so I'm just gonna get this on. Right, so honestly, I'm really happy with the position of my phone right now. So, obviously, that's where my phone used to be. And obviously, once I'm navigating now, Oh, that's a big word for me. We have it right there. So literally, it's like that. And it's li it's not even blocking anything of my view. But what are you saying, fam? I feel like a taxi driver. Next thing, we're going to go on to something really simple. But it's honestly like sex. That's how good it is. This is actually auto finesse air freshener. So obviously, it's not like this one. This one where you like obviously hanging it up. This is one which you can either keep in your car or you can just keep it in the house and then obviously whenever your house like smell, your, your car smells or something. You just whack this out and this is Parma Violets. You know those sweets that you get in the little tubes? That is what this smells like. I haven't actually sprayed this in my car yet, but basically just everywhere, you know what I mean? And my car is smelling like sex right now. Not sure if I'm meant to spray this much, but... Oh, that smells... Like a childhood, that does. That's another car accessory because if you always have people in a car, you don't want your car smelling of McDonald's, you know what I mean? This product that I tried next didn't work. It's the OBD2 reader. Pretty sure I plugged it in right, uh, turned the car on. However, it wasn't coming up on the Bluetooth. So uh, then I stamped on it out of rage but it didn't break because it's literally indestructible. We are gonna quickly go on to all of the boring stuff, which is like this, uh, this, and this. We're gonna do that quickly, and then we're gonna move on to the lights, because that's sick. Where I currently keep my sunglasses is right here. Um, they are like three pound off Amazon, so don't judge me, but they are just taking up the whole glove box, basically, like that, like that. It'd be so much nicer just to be able to put them like up here, you know what I mean? Amazing camera angles. I deserve an Oscar for this. But yeah, there we go. 
Oh. But look, there we go. So, now, again, amazing camera angles. A-star stuff. There you go. And I think it holds another pair right here. So obviously, it's not the most um, nice sight, to be honest. Maybe if I had a black roof or something, that'd be quite nice. But, you know what, it does the job. It's now freed up that whole space. <laughs> Next thing, honestly, costs like 120 pound, no joke. Boom, look at that, nice. This is for cleaning the air vents in your car. So obviously, once you're doing like a, you know, a maintenance clean, Look, instead of like using a cloth and like barely getting in it, look at that. You can clean it with style and elegancy. Look at that. And obviously, I don't know what the hell this is, but got a little brush. Oh, it's quite good at getting the dust off, you know, look. Oh my God, it's actually really good, you know. Hold on. Yo, it's actually just flicking all the du dust off. Oi, nah fam. This is like 99p. I mean, 100 pound. Next product we have is this thing. It's like some carbon fibre like side skirt protector. Let's open this up. This might actually look alright on my car because it's white and black. And then obviously I know you're sticking something to your car but at the end of the day, um, if you want to take this off, it might leave a little bit of sticky residue but if you get some glue and tar remover for your car, it's easy to get off. Like it's not scratching it or anything. At least I don't think so. So there you go. Look at that carbon fibre stuff right there. Look at that. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Right then, so here is the car right now. Obviously, we just got a white patch right here. I've kind of wiped it down. There's still a little bit of dirt, but oh well. <laughs> boom, boom. You know what? That don't even look half bad. It's, oh, um, this is literally not an exaggeration. I'm freezing right now. The side skirt protectors basically are now on. They don't look half bad, you know? And even like, look at it, it actually don't look half bad. So obviously once you get out, this is what it looks like. And there you go. Really, I actually, I actually quite like it. And obviously it's all flat now, which is quite nice. Once we come back around over here, very windy. Over here, we've actually got the other side. I do wish it was a bit longer, but um, other than that, quite nice and it has a nice texture to it. No joke, if I have to go outside once more, I'm actually gonna shit on somebody's head. That's not even a lie. I've just put on basically the door handle protectors. I'll show you guys it on the car, but I haven't done a very good job. Even for a video, I'm not spending any more time than I have to in the cold. Um, I know I'm gonna take these off because they look ugly. If you really wanted to do it professionally, you probably could, it, you could make it like not even like, you could put it on so that nobody literally knows you have it on. But obviously I've done it really rubbishly. They're a weird shape though. I don't know why they're shaped like that. So obviously, I don't know if you guys can actually see, but there is scratches underneath the film that I've just put on. And you can actually obviously see the film. Haven't got all the air bubbles out or anything. So yeah, I'm just gonna take that off anyway. This one, again, will take all the beat in and not your paintwork like that. And then obviously you won't have many scratches on the car. And obviously when it comes to selling it, people will be like, oh, no scratches on the doors. Nice. Now we have one more car accessory that we are gonna unbox today. We're gonna put on the car. And this is the LED wires. So obviously what is gonna happen, it's gonna go like here, like somewhere around there, and then down here, maybe it through here. And obviously it's gonna light up the car, which is gonna look sick. It didn't quite turn out how I wanted it to turn out. Obviously um, we've got it running from there all the way through here. And it actually really nicely fit in these little gaps, like, uh, like these ones kind of. Um, obviously over here, it don't really fit in these big gaps because they don't hold it properly in place. So yeah, it kind of just nicely runs through there. And it's got like a, um, a thin bit and then it's got the light. So the thin bit will go into these little cracks 
and then the light will just stick out basically. This is kind of the best I could do it. We're gonna see what it's like at night. I haven't had, right, the best of luck with this thing. Uh, my car just don't like it. it. The gaps aren't just big enough for the, um, the pieces. I've tried using tape, obviously it don't stick to the dash because, you know, it's not a very sticky thing. Unfortunately, it's not going to look like a Mercedes-Benz, maybe more like a, more like a B-Tech tuk-tuk or something. We'll turn the car on, and then we can see what it kind of looks like. I've, I've tried to make it work, but it just hasn't. Um, anyway, three, two, one, boom. So obviously, mate, like, it don't stay in the things very well, but like, you can imagine, right, how sick that would look if you actually properly did it. Oh, that looks good, actually. Like that, it'd all be shoved in there. It's not even too bright, it's quite a nice brightness. Um, it's just a shame that it don't go in properly. Yeah, there's just not enough like slits for the car, to, slits for it to go into. Okay then, guys, so unfortunately, that is all for today's car accessory video. Obviously, let me remind you of all the things we got. So we got the side skirt protector kind of thing. We got the car mount, a car phone mount, a strip light, which I haven't actually seen yet, but you guys would have seen it by now. We have got the sunglass holder. What else have we got? We got the air freshener, which smells butterful. The light, the blue light in here, the white light out here, which I have actually changed now. So it used to be um, a yellow light and now it's a white light. So I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to keep the blue light in. I, it's kind of like a mixed decision, I don't know. So yeah guys, unfortunately that is the end of today's video. Honestly, I'm really, really happy, mostly with the lights. Um, they were really easy to change out. Phone holder, I'm really happy with that. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, subscribe if you didn't dislike it and don't subscribe of course but um thank you guys so much for watching and i will see a lot of faces in my next video what